Hello and welcome everyone to today's special game against two grandmasters, the White Ra and the NYM Leslie. Uh, the game will take place on the Neo Planet S. Lee, uh, as we all know, that the map that all the Zerg players hate, well, at least the most of them hate, because it's really, really hard for the third base to, to, to save the third base and. And uh, yes, of course, and against the Protoss, it's always, always hard to play against Protoss players here. And this time it's the really, really good good Protoss one, um, the Grandmaster player from the Ukraine playing Red Protoss here on the bottom left side is the White Raw. And here on the top right side playing Blue Zerg from the team MYM, uh, Leslie. Uh, as you've seen in the on the beginning of the game, the players, two, two players exchange some sort of information. Yes, I uh, need to remind you that this game is coming from the typical ladder. They, the both players met on the ladder and uh, I got the replay from the Leslie. Not directly, but but still, uh, if I'm, of course I'm correct. Yeah, so the, so the game here, uh, it's as usual that uh, Brodos player plays the really, really fast expand here. And... Uh, the white raw especially does the first the pylon here on, on the low ground that which excludes all the gateway I'm oh, sorry all, all the uh, the wall ends on on the main base and he's going for the nexus first and then forge which is a little bit scary for the lower level players uh, but not really for the white raw uh, little small harass here with the probe just uh, poking here there and and a little bit delay delaying that expansion, just harassing a little bit the drone and, and patrolling here near the natural, and just leaving after that with the probe away. Meanwhile, just he's feeling safe to place down the nexus and the forge after that. Also, not really being in a in a hurry for the cannon, and probably playing in the gateway. Placing the gateway the first. Yes, as I as I predicted, the gateway is first, and after that will be only the cannon. Feeling yeah, really really safe, and that's the difference between the, the lower league players and the grandmasters. They just really know what's going on and all those timings, and feeling really safe. And after the scouting of the opponent's base, he knew that pool is uh, just coming up, and the zerg is going for really uh, for that typical hatchery, and that means no more available minerals. Or supplies for zerglings. Well, not more than the two, th th two, four zerglings, yeah, probably. And the uh, answer for that from the Leslie, make getting a third base. And the thing is, it you think that the third base is placing here on the three, three o'clock in, instead of the twelve. Uh, yeah, that's that's the typical choice and. The question all the Zerg's asking is, is which place is better for the third base, uh, and it seems that Leslie says that Leslie prefers that here on the third, three o'clock. Okay, well, you know that uh, that wall in is is ready. Yeah, just made putting the cybernetic core as well, and uh, only one photo cannon. As well, another thing that from the professional players, it just uh, it's okay for them just to place. And one photo cannon, and uh, not complete wall off here, uh, just leaving a small room for one zealot to go in, and, uh, and they just they feeling really really safe, and, and really nice scouting here by the Leslie. He just scouted all the round and in the main base, looking for this this particular uh, pylon, the proxy pylon, which usually indicates the white drop play for the white race for heavy stargate units, as we've seen recently on. Uh, World Cyber Games qualification rounds where the White Rod unfortunately wasn't been a wasn't been able uh, to qualify at least from the game I saw. Uh, I'm not saying 100% sure that uh, what was the outcome, but I uh, seen that the White Rod playing heavily with this with the uh, White Race. Yeah, about White Race, it's it's really powerful unit at the moment, and here here in the heart of the swarm, players asking to nerf it because it's 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 really really powerful. Okay, seeing that the uh, Stalker first, uh, I believe, no, no, not first, the second one after the Zealot, which is running around and uh, scouting the bases of the Leslie. Uh, almost managed to get the drone one, and yeah, just uh, running around, seeing what's going on here and there, and uh, okay, it seems like that little small attack from the Whitra, with one Stalker, one Zealot, uh, trying to almost get the Queen, and 
Oh, we have a nice pull from the Leslie here with the drones and just defending the queen really, really good. And uh, even... Uh, oh, he didn't even manage... Oh, he still... Oh, um, he managed to kill the one drone, but uh, one drone for exchange of one zealot. Um, not really the best thing here. Okay, seeing the Leslie seems, seems a little bit on the supply blocked. Um, nothing really big, I think, here. Start mining from the one gas on the third base and two gases in the ma in the natural. And uh, no gas in the main at the moment, so seems like not really something heavily gassed. Probably a lot of links coming from the Leslie. Uh, speed upgrade is on the way. Well, the white was taking the third base and uh, he prefers the a little bit different location from his opponent. He's choosing the, the six six o'clock position for his base, uh, walling in with three gateways, photo cannon, and uh, yeah, that's it's really good because of the, some poking zerglings coming in. And the cannon could should do the trick. Also with the mothership core, there's nothing really to worry to worry about. Yeah. The, the meanwhile, they're just. Uh, Twilight Council and the robotics, uh, robotics for the first observer first is always always really good thing and uh, uh, just to need, need to be sure what's going on in the Zerg base and knowing oh, what's on. No, oh, Leslie, nice kill here with the Stalker. Man, it almost managed to save those Zerglings, but um, oh, shouldn't be that bad exchange from the Leslie. He managed to see what's going on in the third base, seeing the le extra gateways, and knowing the White Draw is going for quite gateway heavy. Heavy build that means a lot of um, yeah, a lot of ground units probably, and probably some colossi in the future. Uh, not seeing those three gateways as well, uh, additional three gateways. It means really really heavy gateway build, the seven gateways I believe, and uh, twelve council for the blinks. Yeah, uh, they're definitely going to be a lot of stalkers. At least the white draw is planning to. Uh, meanwhile, Leslie's feeling free to take another base and producing a lot of links, uh, spire the bane links nest, uh, okay, so going for the bane links, links, uh, infestation pit, uh, probably just for the hive tech, nothing really, no one's really going to be honest for those infestors, and oh, he managed to kill the sentry, it's a big, big hit then, but uh, somehow not, not dedicating himself to kill the photo cannon first, uh, could be a nice blow to be honest, and because those photo that photo cannon do those lot lot and lot of damage and he could manage to save like four or five links more I believe. Oh, killed the sentry and it's uh, still a good hit and uh, seeing that the white draw is a little bit low on gas he's producing more like zealots and couple of sentries uh, no no stalkers at the moment uh, not to mention he's going for the blink upgrade so th there should be stalkers uh, oh nice little run by by little links and you see that's the thing with uh, no days with those auto attacking he tries to focus those probes but links automatically after that focusing the unit which is it which attacks them and yep you seeing that he, the, with the photon overcharge they try to grow for the probes and after that the Texas starts to kill those zerglings and they automatically turn back to the Texas and uh, yeah that's the lost time and requires a lot of more micro than than before this heart of the swarm where there was no photo nova charge and, uh, no but still uh, Leslie managed to kill a lot of SCVs and uh, oh not, not this one um, I forgot that uh, okay control R and uh, yes we see that the worker skill that's is really in favor for the Leslie of course unit skill is in favor for the white Rob, but they need to mention that those are the links and they're quite cheap units and doesn't really influence the game so much because uh, you can reproduce them really really fast and with a uh, quite low cost and the moment we're seeing that Leslie have quite a big bank almost five uh, sorry almost three thousand in total we come with the minerals and gas together <coughs> yeah we said um, quite nice creep spread here where the Leslie using that extra queen he produced the early on the uh, what the thing is a little bit strange, uh, we used to see a lot of air air units from the Protoss, from the White Ra, and uh, I don't think it's uh, the additional gateways and going for the Colossi, Colossi range upgrade and uh, ground upgrade level 2. And that, could, that could a little bit counter the, the Zerg player who's playing heavily with the Zerglings and, uh, and Banelings now. Nice force fields, Colossi, hmm, should do the trick. 
Oh, and Leslie taking to another additional basis on the bottom right corner and the top left corner. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, nice slowing here with Mothership Core and uh, Colossa do the trick and some stalkers. Uh, the bailing skill really, really efficiently. Uh, Links need to retreat, I believe. Yeah, that's true. And a uh, small victory for the White Ra, but uh, seeing that he's supply in supplyly, he's behind. He needs to do a lot more than that than just kill a couple of Banelings at least. Okay, but, uh, seems that he's going to, for a small attack, at least uh, denying some creep spread at here on the bottom of the map and uh, cancelling it in the middle it with the observer out and he's going to kill for the third third base of the protos i'm sorry for the zerg and the leslie okay he, he managed to kill the queen and going for some drones and base and oh a lot of bane links attacking and connecting really really well they managed to kill almost all stalkers killing the the colossi and the corruptors are out as well and yes the corruptors already have the plus one upgrade on on the range and oh that was the Big mistake, I believe, for the white draw leaving the Colossus around alone, around in the middle of the map. And we see that a lot of corruptors are out, so Colossi count needs to be quite high uh, to be sure that he doesn't really die that really fast. Also, needs a lot of stalkers, but uh, I believe. I believe uh, White Shaw doesn't have the really economy for that, and in behind of it, it it's the economy doesn't doesn't not, not really seems that that good. The main is almost mined out. The natural should, is, is okay, but then only recently started mining from the third base, and we need to mention that the third base was taken a little bit before the 10 minutes mark, and uh, there should be the fourth base already a while ago, I believe. Hmm. And it now seems that the White Shaw is switching for the immortal build and uh, going for the Dark Templars as well probably for the Archons and for the Immortals is seeing that the Colossus is not so efficient with the, that count of that of count of Corruptors out also that that means that it's a little bit supply use and taken for the Corruptors and uh, and uh, Leslie don't need to use them or just go, go and give them as a gift for the White Shaw seems that the Leslie is going for the for Ultrisk Link's Bane Links still making additional upgrades for the range I'm sorry for the attack upgrade on the air units uh, well for while the white tries using the dark templars um, it, it just asks for the overseers to be morphed in by the Leslie and after that it'll be ooh, really hard in those okay maybe the harassing all around the map and uh, it would be the nice choice but using up those those dark templars here and there and just slowing down the Leslie which is uh, quite honest uh, in favor at the moment, uh, taking quite a nice lead here in this game, contaminating the the Protoss player so well and uh, not allowing him to play. Oh, almost nice, almost made himself de kill himself attacking those banelings. Uh, a nice trick here from the master player, seeing that um, the grandmaster attacking the banelings in the splash damage and the and the doctor almost killed himself. Yeah. Okay, killing a couple of drones here, uh, seeing the worker kill count is almost even, but the number of bases is just saying about him himself, you know, that uh, Leslie is really, really, really bad at position at the moment. Nice creep spread almost over the half of the map and the uh, extra bases, while the white tribe is producing almost just, just zealots and uh, nothing really else. I think it's the, okay. He's he's mining those minerals, but he uses that diamond really, really a lot on the, those dark templars. Also, immortals are not a cheap unit. Finally, going for some shield upgrade as well. M managed to have a plus three on the weapon. A small attack here with the zealots and uh, trying to deny the base. Probably he's managed. Ooh, it's it's possible he managed to do that. Just forcing Leslie to make some links and run around the map and taking that control. Now yeah, he managed to kill the hatchery in the bottom right corner of the map. Um, you know the Leslie is going to take up this uh, proxy pilot probably, or maybe not, just killing the units. Anyway, good thing, uh, just the containing the white shroud and not loving to take the fourth base, it's a really big plus for the for the Leslie. It's a big win here in this game. and uh, Constantly trading the units and constantly making the efficient trades. It's really good for the Leslie because of the economical advantages. And okay, now is the bit bigger advantage here in the, uh, I'm sorry, the battle here in the bottom of the map in the Ultralisks. 
playing against Immortals and, and Archons, you're seeing that Archons and Neutralists are really... I'm sorry, Archons and Immortals are a really good com combination here. Uh, managed to beat the Leslie off, but um, it wasn't really best an efficient trade of the armies here, I believe. But uh, Leslie have quite a big bank and already at 200 point. He's back. And uh, well, that seems that he, he could lose this hatchery. Uh, really depends on how he's gonna use the units. Okay, he have overseers out, so the killing the Dark Templars. It's not the cost, best cost efficient unit at this point in the game. And, uh, maybe for making the Archons, but uh, is Archons the answer? It seems like no. Well, Leslie have a lot of minerals going for additional upgrades for the plus three for the me for the armor and additional plus two for the Ultralisk armor and uh, making more Ultralisks, Zerglings and Greater Spire. He's finally decided to go for the for the Greater Spire tech and that means the Broodlords are coming up and they're going to use those Corruptors which is set in the middle of the map somewhere, somewhere here, yeah, yeah, here. Okay, and uh, attacking the third base of the of the Whitera, the main economical base and also additional of those gateways. Oh, the nice use of the Dark Templars here. Really, 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 really expensive use, of course, but but this time seems to be quite efficient. And still, the numbers of Leslie, the, all those Ultralisks, it's just a big, big amount of them. And also, the additional Bane Links. Uh, really fashion, efficient against the, the Gateway units. And oh, he seems that uh, Leslie forgot about those two Stalkers. And he's gonna lose the base as. Uh, I can't say it's a small mistake, but it's a mistake after all. And of course, it's about the multitasking and and the being white trap being everywhere around the map and the sending those zealots. But the thing with zealots is it's just not enough. It's really not enough, and the supply count just shows that the real thing. And uh, while the Leslie they can do big atta bigger attacks and, and just forces white trap to trade the units, and not really best in the competition as well. But the economy side is it just. Yeah. It's in, in favor of Leslie, no doubt about it. Uh, all the things now it's rest on the fourth base of the White Shra. If the Leslie manage to take it out, it, it's probably the GG for the White Shra. It's almost twice as much supply for the Leslie than, than White Shra. And, oh, retreating here from from this battle? Uh, I believe it's a small mistake chasing up the one old, one immortal. Instead, he managed. Instead, he would manage to kill the, the base and would be in a lead. Well, definitely kill the third base. And oh, now going for the fourth base. Uh, quite a nice choice, to be honest, after that, of uh, chasing that, that immortal. And uh, no, he managed to kill the probes. He'll be nice, uh, very nice. Oh, here by the Leslie, and the work kill counts and again in the favor of the Leslie. And uh, White Rod knows that losing the fourth base will be the GG for him. And, uh, yeah, he admits it, and the GG uh, without the well played. And that's the game of the ladder from the two great grandmaster players, the White Ra and the Leslie. Uh, thank you everyone for watching the game. Please just share, like and all the other stuff and uh, see you guys soon.